The Pittsburgh Steelers, even though they recently traded for quarterback Justin Fields, Russell Wilson is pretty much already the starting QB for this season, at least right now. At the NFL's league meeting this past Sunday, Mike Tomlin said Russell Wilson will have the pole position. I'm going to repeat that. Russell Wilson, Mike Tomlin says, will have the pole position. But 2021 first round pick Justin Fields will still have the opportunity to compete when the time is right. You know, Mike Tomlin, my question for you is not just what is pole position, but what is the right time for Justin Fields to have the opportunity to compete? Why isn't right now the right time? Because I don't see anything in Russell Wilson right now that has shown that he automatically should be given the QB1 job right now. We haven't even seen these dudes do OTAs, training camp. We haven't even seen them throw any passes on airs in any 7-on-7 seven -seven drills. We haven't seen anything out of Russell Wilson in the black and gold. And yet, we're already naming him the starting quarterback? That doesn't make any sense to me. And Mike Tomlin's justification for going ahead and naming Russell Wilson QB1 is because you don't really want a lot of confusion when OTAs do get here. You definitely want Russell Wilson, if he's going to be your starter for you, to get the majority of the first team reps. But Russell Wilson didn't play that good last year. And I get so sick and tired of you people bringing up the fucking stats. Fuck the stats, man. If the dude was that good, Denver wouldn't have taken an $85 million Record did cap hit to get rid of this dude, man. I'm getting so tired of people making it seem like this, the Steelers are getting the Russell Wilson that we saw in Seattle. That Seattle version of Russell Wilson is long gone. Every time I see some Russell Wilson Steeler highlights on Twitter, it's never anything from what he did recently with Denver, it's always something that happened when he was with Seattle. That Russell Wilson is gone. He's getting old. He's regressing. He isn't the same athlete that he used to be. Who cares what the stats say? The dude still got cut, and Denver was willing to take the NFL's largest dick cap hit to get rid of him. The last two years that Russell Wilson has played in the NFL has been detrimental to his legacy what has he showed to prove that he deserves the right to be QB1 right now over Justin Fields because in my opinion last season to me Justin Fields was better than Russell Wilson that may be a hot take but Russell Wilson had a better situation and a way better coach than what Justin Fields had in Chicago and I'm not saying that Justin Fields should be the starting quarterback right now all I'm saying is that he should have the opportunity to compete for this job right now. We haven't seen anything out of Russell Wilson in the last two years that should give Mike Tomlin any courage or anything to show that, yeah, Russell Wilson deserves the job right now. What has Russell Wilson done in the black and gold to prove that he deserves another extension? Like the Steelers are already planning on extending this dude for more years and the dude hasn't even played a single snap. Like what, the, what are we doing here? This is politics at its best. And it's the same decision that Mike Tomlin keeps making when he keeps playing these politic games with the quarterback position that has the Steelers franchise in the current state that they're in right now being stagnant, being mediocre. The standard in Pittsburgh has went down because Mike Tomlin's commitment to excellence, you know, it just seems like he is more committed to mediocrity than he is when it comes to winning another championship. No matter how good Russell Wilson plays, he's not going to play good enough to lead the Steelers to the Super Bowl this year. And that should be the goal for Pittsburgh. F a playoff win. If you're not aiming to win the Super Bowl every year, or you don't have a quarterback who you believe can lead you to one and can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Patrick Mahomes, you don't have a quarterback. You have a quarterback problem. You see, like, Russell Wilson is cool for a one-year stopgap, 
But let's stop kidding ourselves. This dude doesn't have four or five years left of high-level play. The Steelers will be lucky enough if they even get above-average quarterback play out of Russell Wilson this year. What has Russell Wilson showed in the last two years to give the Steelers so much confidence that we don't need to see a quarterback competition between Russ and Justin Fields go down in OTAs or minicamp? Like, what? Justin Fields and Russell Wilson, if you watch them play the last two years, I think they've been on the same playing field. Russell Wilson has just as much to prove as Justin Fields. The only thing that Russell Wilson is surviving off right now is legacy. Everybody keeps talking about what Russell Wilson did in Seattle. He's a former Super Bowl champion, multiple-time pro bowler, one of the best quarterbacks of the 2010s. I agree with all of those things, but you know what you keep referencing? You keep referencing the past, and you're not looking at what Russell Wilson is right now. What Russell Wilson is right now is a washed, aging, and regressing quarterback. I don't care about him having more experience than Justin Fields. Based off what we saw out of him and Justin the last two years, they both ended up in Pittsburgh for a reason. You want to know why? Because they weren't good enough for their previous teams. Anytime you have a team willing to take a record, did cap hit to release you? You don't think that, you know, maybe... It was something wrong with that player that would make Denver willing to take that much of a dead cap hit? Does it piss you off how much you pay for your monthly phone bill? Why are you getting frustrated when our partner Mint Mobile has plans as low as $15 a month that give you unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network? Stop getting frustrated with how much you spend on your monthly phone bill and go to trymintmobile.com slash jtsports and description and pin comment down below to get access to premium wireless for only $15 a month. That's only $15 a month. Switching to Mint is easy. It only takes 15 minutes to do. If you're pissed off with how much you pay for your monthly phone bill, switch to Mint Mobile today and go to trymintmobile.com slash JT Sports in description and pin comment down below to get premium wireless for only $15 a month. Stop getting upset with how much you spend on your monthly phone bill and switch to Mint Mobile today. You know, like, I don't get why so many Steeler fans are trying to get amped up for Russell Wilson. It's the same shit when y'all try to get amped up when we signed Mitch Trubisky in free agency a few years ago. Y'all remember that? Because I certainly do. I'll never forget the amount of Steeler fans that came at me because I felt Mitch Trubisky was going to be a terrible quarterback for us. Like, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Like, I get that the Steelers haven't gotten serviceable quarterback play in years but that doesn't mean that we need to get riled up and excited about any halfway decent quarterback that we get because at the end of the day all we're going to see is the same result we just saw this past year's Super Bowl Patrick Mahomes out Brock Purdy Brock Purdy played a really good game the only reason the 49ers lost was because Brock Purdy wasn't Patrick Mahomes If you don't have a superstar video game like QB, like the Ravens or the Cincinnati Bengals or the Buffalo Bills do, you're not going to go far in the postseason. Nobody cares about the Steelers having a winning record over Joe Burrow and Lamar in the regular season. Because where are they when it actually matters? Sitting at home, getting their ass sent to Cancun early due to the hands of an elite quarterback. You see, unless the Steelers can get a truly elite quarterback or another Hall of Fame caliber QB like Big Ben, we're never going to make it back to another Super Bowl. I don't get why so many people are trying to get excited over Russell Wilson. This dude is washed. You're thinking of Russell Wilson for what he used to be. What he used to be was one of the best QBs in the game. What he is now is a quarterback that got cut for a record-setting $85 million cap hit. I'm not against Russell Wilson starting. All I'm saying is that let these dudes battle it out. Why are we already naming Russell Wilson? Why are we already giving this dude the keys to the Lambo? 
when he hasn't earned it. This dude had a Toyota Camry and crashed out in Denver. $85 million dead cap hit Denver took because they felt he wasn't good enough. Sean Payton is one of the best offensive minds in NFL history. This dude damn near made it to the playoffs his final season in New Orleans with Jameis Winston, Taysom Hill, Ian Book, and Trevor Simeon all playing games for him that same season at QB. And yet, we make Sean Payton not to be the problem? Instead of looking at the actual problem, a guy who didn't live up to all of the high expectations that came with him when he got traded to Denver? Like, come on, man. I'm just saying, if I'm Mike Tomlin, I would have a true quarterback competition right now. I wouldn't be naming no damn starter. Who cares about trying to make sure you can find a guy who you can go into OTAs and mini camp with as QB1 and make sure he gets majority of the reps? Fuck that, man. Both these guys need to be split in those first team reps because we need to figure out who truly is the better quarterback. And the only way we're going to find that out is through competition, not just giving Russell Wilson the keys. And I'm not even surprised this situation has played out this way because if you know the kind of person that Russell Wilson is and the kind of person that Mike Tomlin is, they definitely have personalities that complement each other very well. So it's no surprise that they hit it off and Mike Tomlin has seen the already develop a strong likeness for Russell Wilson, but he's politicking. Politicking is what loses you games. Him politicking last year with Kenny Pickett and Mitch Trubisky and not starting the better quarterback who was the third string who ended up saving the Steelers' season, don't even ask me how the hell that happened. How the hell is your best quarterback the third string QB? Like, what? Like, why are so many people getting so hyped up about this, when really, you should be concerned. Mike Tomlin doesn't have a good eye for the quarterback position. They drafted Kenny Pickett. He thought Mitch Trubisky was a, few, was a former franchise quarterback. Like, I don't know what the hell Mike Tomlin looks for out of his quarterbacks, but based off his hits and miss records, he doesn't really have a good eye for scouting the QB position. And that's why the Steelers are in the position that they're in with two unknowns at QB. We don't know if Russell Wilson is ever even going to bounce back to form. I doubt it. I don't even think this dude is even going to be above average this year. He may be better than Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph and whoever else the Steelers have been starting at that position for the past couple of years. But do you want a cookie? Y'all act like being better than Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph is an accomplishment when those are two of the worst quarterbacks in the league who were starting last year. So what, we're getting, we're giving Russell Wilson props for being better than two of the NFL's worst starters last year? Like, come on. I'm not a Russell Wilson hater. I'm just saying that the Steelers are not playing this situation well. You said before this offseason started, there was going to be an open quarterback competition. Honor that. Have a true open quarterback competition. Why are you just giving the keys to Russell Wilson? Why is it that we have to see Russell Wilson flame out and lose games for a couple of weeks instead of just letting these two guys compete and figuring out who truly is the best quarterback? Because based on what we saw out of these two guys the last two seasons, they ended up in Pittsburgh for a reason, which shows that none of them have done anything to deserve the starting job yet. They need to work for it. They need to earn it. And I just don't agree with Mike Tomlin just handing over the keys to Russell Wilson. And this goes up. Doesn't this go against everything that Mike Tomlin preaches? Excellence, not being okay with complacency and mediocrity. Like, all this is, is the same rinse, wash, and repeat bullshit the Steelers have been doing at quarterback for the last couple of years. They still don't have an answer for who's going to be Big Ben's successor. We're still trying to figure that out because it wasn't Kenny Pickett. It wasn't Mason Rudolph. And I doubt it's going to be Russell Wilson. I'm just saying, the Steelers should be having Russell Wilson and Justin Fields right now going head-to-head -head for the right to be the starting quarterback, not Russell Wilson already, been naming, already being named the starting QB for this year. It makes no sense. Hell, like, 
we still got what? This March right now. We got April, May, June, July. Training camp starts in late July. We still got four more months to go until we see these guys actually throw any meaningful passes. So, I mean, why are we already naming a starting quarterback when the season is five, six months away? We still got half the year to go until the 2024 NFL season kicks off. And yet, Russell Wilson is already the starting quarterback in Pittsburgh. Do y'all not see that as a problem? I get Russell Wilson is a vet. But him and Justin Fields in terms of who's better, I don't really think that it's a clear-cut answer right now. I think that both aren't really that great. They both have a lot to prove, and they both should be battling for a QB1, not just giving a guy the job just because of his history. History doesn't win you anything in life. You know what does win you things in life? What you do at the current moment. What is Russell Wilson right now, a quarterback that we just saw get cut for a record-setting NFL dead cap hit? Hmm. Hmm. Really hope that all this is just he say, she say. And when mini camp, OTAs, and training camp roll around, we really get a true quarterback competition in the Steel City because I'm tired of this mediocrity at quarterback. At this point, people keep asking me, like, JT, y'all probably won't make the playoffs this year. Like, I really don't care. I hope we suck. I want us to be bad so we can actually be in a position to drive a truly game-changing, franchise-changing quarterback. When you are a team that is never bad enough to pick in the top five or the top ten, but never good enough to win the Super Bowl, you never put yourself in good positioning in the draft to land a game-changing quarterback. So I hope that the Steelers either are good and they go all the way with either Russell Wilson or Justin Fields or they just suck completely and they're bad enough where hopefully they can land one of the best quarterbacks in next year's draft class. But the Steelers and Mike Tomlin are definitely mishandling this quarterback situation. This should be an open quarterback competition right now. Oh, well, we're just waiting for the right time for Justin Fields to compete. When's the right time, Coach Tomlin? Isn't right now the best time? Because neither one have proven anything. 